plunging temperatures and sub-zero wind chills moving in as thousands face another night without power. NYSEG declaring this the largest and most prolonged outage since the 2006 October storm. As far as the latest numbers from NYSEG and National Grid go, there's still over 12,000 customers without power, most of them in Erie, Wyoming, Genesee, and Orleans counties. Now, crews are working around the clock to get power restored. But as our own Jeff Rusak reports, that's little comfort to those facing 48 hours in the cold. Night number three in the dark, by far the coldest. We're going this way. And that's what worries Donna Droney. She and 30 of her neighbors in West Seneca are in the dark thanks to Wednesday's wind. So that was what, what was on fire when I came home. Candles provide enough light to get by, and a long-lasting fire keeps the house livable. You know, it's a long time to be without power. Some of these houses are down to like 40 degrees in the house. With the power of production lights, we can see. It's a much different situation when they're off. But electricity is tantalizingly close for Droney. The shamrock shining across the street almost taunt her, and she's thought about leaving. I could go stay with my daughter for a while. It's just that I'm afraid to leave the house. I don't know if I should leave the water running tonight. I don't know, you know, how cold does it have to get before your pipes might break. This cold snap has Droney worried more than any other famous Buffalo storm, including the October surprise where she lost power for a week. But what has Droney really annoyed is who's waiting outside. A NYSEG truck has been monitoring the downed wire for more than two days. That was real frustrating to me because I was so excited to see somebody from the electric company here thinking that they were coming, you know, and, you know, day after day after day, they're still here, but nobody's coming. Someone will come. Right now, NYSEG expects to have the power back in the next 24 hours. But the problem with this storm is, is that it's so cold. A very cold. 24 hours. She really is a trooper for sticking it out. I hope that she gets her power back soon. Absolutely. Now, a lot of people are without power. They're staying in their homes tonight. Now, according to the Red Cross, that's not such a smart idea. The Red Cross communications director said in a tweet, these conditions can be very dangerous and they strongly encourage everyone to seek shelter, whether with family or at a shelter. We've got a list of those shelters on our website, wkbw.com. Okay, Jeff Rusak, thank you very much. Thank you.